Hello, and welcome to Let's Play with This 101, Episode 2. Here is Luke Golden Dust. Let's play. Sorry about the last episode, I had to cut short. Uh, the first episode, but, on a side note, the first episode of Gobble Guardians. Welcome to, to Wizard out. City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. But why? I have an idea. Well, Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. Okay. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. What is this? Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. Okay. So yeah, the first episode of Gobble Guys. a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, okay. These are give you timely information when you click on them. Very interesting. But I don't care. Let them stack up. I don't really care. None shall pass! Unicorn Way is off limits! There are ghosts everywhere! You show Private Stilson a letter yeah. with Master Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit. I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Connolly in Unicorn Way. Okay. Is it, guys? We're going in the Unicorn Way. Is it? Oh! Uh, excuse me. I must do something with Diego. Yay! Pausing for no reason! Uh. Greetings, young wizard. I am Diego, the Duel Master. You have heard of the last thing as Wizard vs. Wizard Duel, yes? Well, are you talking to me, Mom? Okay. Uh, my mom's running out the sun. Any weasel can duel another weasel in the arena, either in a weasel or a ranked. Any weasel? And once you reach level ten, you will be able to compete in proper tournaments. Weasel? You did say weasel, right? To duel another weasel, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. And come back to me. Weasel? Ah. Uh. You can simply click on the practice pedestal to create a duel or to accept another wizard's challenge. Practice tools are not reported and do not affect your PvP rating, but they are a fantastic way to hone your skills. Compete as a ranked duelist. Click on the ranked pedestal to create a challenge, or to accept another wizard's challenge. You have the chance to win arena tickets, which you can redeem for prizes. And every win will increase your PvP rating. However, if you lose or flee a duel, your PvP rating will go down. Okay. Very interesting. The tournament pedestal will let you join tournaments, but you must reach level 10 before you can use it. Hmm. You can win special prizes by competing in tournaments. I will tell you more about them when you are ready. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. The leaderboard pedestal allows you to see your standings. It shows you how your rating compares to other duelists. Hmm. Interesting. Like Yugi? Each season of Wizard vs. Wizard duels is known as an age. The length of an age is something of a mystery. 
Every time a new age begins, the leaderboard standings are enough to give every wizard another chance to shine. Leaderboard! Yay. Okay, let's go back outside. Uh, Diego. Now you know how to duel another wizard for practice or for rank status. Yes, I do. Don't forget to bring your arena tickets here to redeem for fantastic rewards. And remember, the rank PvP rating lasts for an age. Once a new age begins, everyone's rating starts at zero again. By the way, guys, uh, I don't know what secondary wizard thing, uh, uh, wizard I'm going to be, so... Maybe you could leave in the comments what you think I should become. Ah, hmm? A letter from the headmaster. You're very brave to bring this to me. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware. Okay. Your arrival is it a blessing. Uh, we need help fending okay. off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. It turns out not including the tutorial. The first fight you do is at level 2. No matter what. The first actual fight. Is that just me or is that kind of weird? Anyway. So let's beat up some ghosts. Okay. But seriously guys, what secondary school should I be? Uh, I was thinking about doing life because in my Main Wizards 101 Let's Play. My brother is doing life as either main school or secondary school because we need a healer in the group. But unless some a life wizard keeps stalking me, oh, I don't. I don't actually have a party in this let's play because it's single player and that's kind of bad unless the uh, life wizard keeps stalking me there's going to be no one to heal me except myself so I could be a life wizard or maybe a death wizard because most of those actually give you health so, I guess, post in the comments below what you think it should be. <sighs> well, at least I have commentary. That's good. Usually, if you watch my other videos, you'll see this, but usually, my commentary is really bad, and it's... Most of the time, I'm just stand there, mouth open, going, I don't know what to say. I do say stuff, but I think this commentary is better than the other ones. Wow, I'm talking about commentary. Maybe not. Let's turn the tide for us. Yay! We'll follow your lead and get back to work. If only we knew what's causing the spread of the undead. I wonder what. You should talk to Sarah and Nightchance and see if he can use any help. And we will do that in the next part. Till next time, this is Prince Wright signing off.